Lewis Hamilton at Ferrari in 2025. Uh, no, we're not April 1st, that was the news uh, yesterday. I was as surprised as many of you, I'm going to be honest, I didn't expect uh, Lewis to leave Mercedes one day. Um, it's got such a great setup there, such a great atmosphere. But remember, uh, back in 2012, Lewis is a man of challenge and uh, in 2012 he swept from McLaren to Mercedes. Uh, everyone was very surprised, uh, especially knowing that he grew up with McLaren that he was a Rondonese protégé uh, for a very long time and uh, that McLaren was very successful at the time and Mercedes was uh, struggling a little bit more. Early 2013 was a challenge for Lewis Hamilton until they start winning. Uh, the first win came at the Hungarian Grand Prix 2013. So challenge, new uh, desire. Ferrari is, we all know, a very unique race team, probably one of the most iconic in the world, the most iconic in the world. Um, but still, why is Lewis Hamilton going to Ferrari? Um, I guess he wants something new. Um, he's, as I say, he's known some difficult time with Mercedes, but they always bounce back. I'm going to be honest with you, I think they are taking a little bit longer than expected with the new rules uh, post-2021 20, to uh, get back on top of their games. Uh, still a very competitive team, but Red Bull has been doing such a great job that um, everyone else is, is left a little bit behind. Um, in fact, uh, Ferrari was the only team to win one race. The only race not won by Red Bull in 2023 was, uh, was won by Ferrari. So yeah, Lewis Hamilton at Ferrari next to Charles Leclerc. That's going to be an interesting uh, duo. Uh, pretty exciting to see that one as uh, Lewis is not afraid of challenges. Remember when he started at McLaren, who was his teammate? No less than Fernando Alonso, one of the most fierce, fast and competitive teammate you can have in Formula One. I was very lucky to be with Fernando in 2009 for seven races and I can tell you he's an incredible driver. So challenges, Lewis not afraid of that. Uh, Charles Leclerc is going to be a very good benchmark for him. Uh, we have to remember that, uh, you know, uh, few few very important, few key people in, in Lewis' career. Uh, we mentioned Ron Dennis, um, Niki Lauda and Toto Wolf, of course, uh, with Lewis Hamilton, they have created that uh, Formula One team that through that was the most successful one through 2014 to 2020, winning pretty much everything. Niki Lauda, Toto Wolff, uh, Lewis Hamilton, and then Nikos by Valtteri Bottas uh, and George Russell next to him. But that has that trio has been very very strong. And Fred Vasseur, Fred Vasseur was with Lewis Hamilton in 2005 when Lewis was Formula Three. Euro Series champion and then uh, in GP2 in 2006 when Lewis Hamilton was champion with in GP2. So Fred Vassar and Lewis Hamilton knows, uh, know each other very, very well. Uh, is that a fact in, in Lewis' decision? I don't know. Uh, but definitely he knows why he's the man that's in charge of the Scuderia Ferrari and he knows why he's going there. Talking of Scuderia Ferrari, where is uh, Carlos Sainz going to go? Obviously that seats just got uh, got taken by Lewis so we know that Carlos Sainz has got some uh, strong link with Audi at least Carlos Sainz uh, senior uh, has got some very strong link with Audi and uh, Carlos Sainz name has been linked to that team so that could definitely definitely be a, a position for for him in the future no Mercedes has an open seat that's an exciting one and uh, I posted on Instagram uh, my uh, my uh, resume uh, <laughs> joke aside I think uh, they have a very, very talented driver, superstar coming through their rank named Kimi Antonelli. I think he's probably one of the most very exciting drivers to come to Formula 1. Uh, but he may be a little bit young to jump to, um, to Mercedes in 2025. So why don't, uh, what couldn't they uh, go and, um, you know, take Albon for a year maybe? We know they have a strong relationship with Williams, uh, being the power unit supplier for Williams F1 team. So maybe have Alex Albon to Mercedes and then Kimi Antonelli getting ready at Williams before jumping into Mercedes. That could definitely be an opening for, for them on an option. There's a lot of drivers on the market, there's a lot of drivers that are dreaming to drive for Mercedes, as I say, one of the most successful team in the F1 history. But yeah, for now it's, um, 
it's exciting. Uh, I'm excited to see what 2024 is going to be as a season, and I'm almost even more excited to see what 2025 is going to be like. Uh, yeah, big, big surprise. I was not expecting it. I really think that Lewis was going to finish his career at Mercedes. Um, he is 30, 38 years old, I believe, and uh, he's got a lot more energy. And we've seen that uh, with Fernando Alonso, it's possible to go above 40 and be very competitive. So um, I feel like we're going to see some of those faces for quite a long time again. And uh, I'm excited to, to see that. That's it for now. And now we, um, we've got all the car launch coming. So let's, uh, let's make a video on the liveries and what we think of the car very, very soon.